This is Ron with TimeSolve, and today we're going to go over how to create new clients and new matters inside of TimeSolve. We'll be going over the basic options today. If you do want information on some of the more advanced features when creating clients and matters, or questions on anything that we go over, please look at following videos on these particular topics, or give us a call at any time. Now the first thing you need to do is please go to Clients, and then select Clients and Matters. And this will take you to your current Client and Matter list. To create a new client, click the link to the right that says New Client. All it will ask for is a name, and this is what will appear in your list. The list is alphabetized, but if you do have numbers that precede your client name, they will be at the top of your list, and they will be listed numerically. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a name right now. After that's done, please click on Save. Now this is the details of our new client. The name is what will appear in the list. The invoice name is what will appear on the invoices to this particular client. The client ID and matter ID are both managed by TimeSolve and will incrementally increase as additional clients and matters are entered into the system. If you have a numbering structure that you use already, please let us know and we may be able to help you incorporate that into TimeSolve. The status by default does show as active. That's so you can see it in your list and be able to enter time and expenses for them. Once all activity is done, you can change that to inactive, and then this client will no longer appear in your list. None of the data is gone, it's just hidden, so your list is as concise and short as possible and only showing the most current clients you're working with. You may always change this back from inactive to active again if that is needed. The rate by that is listed uh, typically will show timekeeper default. What this means is when you're entering time, the system will look back to your profile, see what rate is listed there, and that's what will be assigned for your time entries. There are quite a few other pricing structures that can be used. Uh, if any other structures are needed or other options are desired, please let us know or watch following training videos. Uh, the bill increment does default 2.1, but that can be changed at any time if something else is needed. The opening date does default to today's date, but if you have been working with this client for more than that, please go ahead and change that to what's more appropriate. The inactive date is not required, but it is a good feature to have once you are done working with this client for reporting purposes and also you will know the last time that you had worked with this client. We can also set up tax structures if you do need to charge tax to your clients. The contacts page will show all the contacts and their addresses that you can list for this particular client. The main contact will be the first one that you enter and will be used on your invoices. Uh, you may enter in, though, as many contacts as you would like. The invoice settings uh, do detail how the invoices can be created for this particular client, uh, the billing templates that can be used, if you do charge interest or not, uh, grace period and payment terms, all can be completely customizable. We have three different ways that we do send out invoices uh, by email, if you do choose that and you do have an email address listed for your contact, then TimeSum is able to automatically email out that invoice for you. Uh, you do have the option of many different formats. The default is PDF. Uh, if you do choose printer as a delivery method, TimeSolve will download a PDF of that final invoice so that you may use that PDF uh, and send it to your printer, save it on your network, or attach it to your own email, whatever you would like to do. Auto mail, uh, what that feature helps you do is if you want to send a hard copy to your client, but you would like us to send that out for you, then we are able to do that. Uh, there is a small additional fee for that uh, just to cover supplies and postage. Now those do go out every single day. We do print those out and uh, get those in the mail at the, the end of business every day. Uh, if you do need your invoices emailed to multiple locations uh, and you have selected the email option, you may put those additional emails in the field right above. 
Now we do have under invoice narratives uh, different areas that you can enter custom messages or custom instructions for these particular invoices. Um, these are some of the default messages that are included, but you may override these at any time and use any messages that you would like. On the Matters tab, this will show all the different matters underneath this particular client. Now, because it is brand new, there are no matters in here, so we're going to go ahead and create one. Uh, there is a new matter link on the main page, but there's also one here as well, just for ease of use. And I'm going to go ahead and use that one now. And it just asks for a matter name, just like it did uh, when we were creating clients. And I'm going to go ahead and just enter one right now. Uh, if you do have a responsible professional or lead that is being assigned to this matter, you can enter that at this time. It does select from your full uh, timekeeper list. Consolidated just means that you do want this grouped with other matters uh, when you are creating invoices. So then they will all appear on one single invoice. Uh, that is an optional feature. Uh, you may use it if you wish. Once we go ahead and click on save, we do go into the matters detail. And it does show the name that we had entered, the matter ID that's going to be automatically assigned, uh, if it's active or not, or billable. Uh, active means you can see it in your lists, and also enter time for it and expenses. Billable just means you can create invoices for them. Again, that default uh, rate that we see. And uh, now on the next page, we do have all the contacts for this individual matter. Uh, so if that is different than your client, you can list that here. And then any contact information listed here will be used on the invoices instead. We do have a budget tab if you do want to monitor uh, the amount that is being entered for this matter. Uh, you can base that on the number of hours, the fees of those hours, expenses, or invoices in total. Uh, we do have the option too for what we call a matter plan, which is more project management. Uh, so. If that is something of need, we will have future videos on that. Uh, please go ahead and watch those. Again, we do have those invoice settings, very similar to what we saw on the client, as well as those invoice narratives. These can be modified uh, for the individual matter if that is what's needed. Now, the invoices, uh, this will show all invoices that have been sent out for this particular matter. Now, because it is brand new, we don't have anything in here right now, but as time goes on, you will see all of them listed here. Uh, if you do have a previous amount that needs to be listed, if this matter is coming from another system that had a, an open balance or a, an open uh, accounts receivable, that can be listed here, and you can date that. It will be treated just like an open invoice in TimeSolve, and where you can assign it to uh, future payments when those do come in. Now, if there are any questions on any of the things that we have went over, please don't hesitate to call us uh, or visit our support page and our knowledge base. Thank you for watching this today, and thank you for using TimeSolve.